Hi, I'm George Freeman from New York City, and I thought I'd talk today about how to deal with the media in a high visibility or any sort of important litigation for your clients. Now, it's very important to realize that the day of the no comment is over. Uh, your client, if it's an important institution in town, if it's really any sort of corporate client that has a corporate image, it's very important to realize that litigations are fought not only in the courtroom but also in the battle of, for public opinion. And so therefore you have to use your opportunity to deal with the media, to answer the media's questions when they're interested in your case in a way that's going to most positively reflect on your client, even if your client is a defendant in the case. Uh, what you should do if you have any sort of defense at all, of course, if you have nothing to say, then you're in trouble. But if you have some defense in the case, if you have some uh, opportunity to say to the press what your angle is, what you, why you're not wrong, why the other side is doing something wrong and bringing the case, and why you really are, are totally legitimate in what actions you've taken, you have to express that to the, uh, to the press when they ask you. And the problem that most litigators have is that they usually ask you the day the complaint is filed which may be the only, the first time you've heard about the case as well. You probably though do know about the claim, you know about the background. Most, most cases when they're filed are not total surprises. But most lawyers' instinct is, well, I better not answer that, either because of the old uh, adage that, well, we haven't been officially served yet, or that I don't know all the facts and I've got to interview 23 witnesses. Well, after you interview the 23 witnesses, the press will no longer be interested in the case. They want to know about your position today because they're running a story tomorrow. And that's when you have to act quickly. You don't have to act that minute. Maybe take half an hour, talk to your client, talk to one person who knows something more than you do. But then it's time to answer the press. And you have to use that opportunity to put your best foot forward because you want the public to be on your side in this case. And it has a lot of advantages. One is the advantage to your, to your company in terms of its image in the, in the uh, public arena, in the community. Second is that if you signal the other side that you have some good defenses, that you're willing to fight this out in the open, it might bring down the settlement uh, position that the other side might have because it'll show that you're willing to, to go to the wall, that you have good things to say. Another uh, thing is it'll galvanize your industry. Your industry colleagues read the papers and they'll be interested in your case and try to assist you if they see that you have something to say about your defense, why it might impact them. And fourthly, befriending the media is important also because you want them on their side. The media is like anyone else, they like to have friends. So talk to them, be on their side, and sometimes in that first conversation, you can even ask them, well, what did the other side say? And they might tell you something you could never otherwise find out during the course of discovery of the lawsuit. So don't, use them, don't treat the media as an enemy, use them as a potential ally, and get your message across to the public, because all litigation is fought in the public realm as well as the courtroom.